Hi, John here. Uh, today is Monday, the 2nd of uh, September 2017. I'm just going to ring my lawyer, um, Yu Tai Choi, and I've been writing to him, but I think I'll just ring him first. I just missed Willie Pater, just called me and I, I filmed him, but I missed, I had it on camera instead of picture um, um, and video. Uh, so, um, Let's bring him up. Oh nine three three seven seven oh seven seven oh seven seven seven. I ring you, Tai Choi, my lawyer. You see. Hello, Andy Choi. Yes, uh, could I speak to Mr. Choi, please? Is he there today or tomorrow? Um, I don't think he's available today. Today? Ah, uh, might be tomorrow, eh? Yes. I, I'm John Wanoa. I, I drop a book in to him. I gave it to the other uh, solicitors, uh, I don't know what's his name, and uh, for to give to Mr. Choi. But I want to Mr. Choi to... Are you his secretary? Yes. Yeah, um, I want to... Tell him to make up a bill for me of mm -hmm. the work he done for me. All right. And you make the bill because my chiefs came in to see him and they will take care of everything. Yes. And I also want to uh, rephrase on what I was talking about, the tidal turbine. Uh, I might uh, let uh, Mr. Choi have the contract because he was interested in uh, what I'm doing in South Korea with the Kaui, um, Kaui uh, design okay. engineer. So, to be honest, I don't have any idea about that matter. I suggest you talk to Mr. Choi directly, but uh, he's not available today. Just either way, whether you want to leave your names and contact number... And I'm going to email... I'm, I'm or you just contact to him tomorrow. Yeah, no, I'm gonna. I'm, I'm, I'm writing a letter to him now, uh, right. making a, a proposal to to pay him up to date. That was since 2012, I think, uh, when the work he'd done for me, and we're going ahead with business with the chiefs here that came into your office uh, to bring some book um, for for our court hearings. Uh, so, so I just want to make an official uh, letterhead to him. Uh, yes, to make the uh, proposal. Is, um, uh, the fax number or his email? Uh, uh, I think I... Can you give me his email? Because I'll send it soon today. Okay. Info. I-N-F-O. Yeah. Info. At. At. Y-T. Y-T. C-H-O-I. C-H-O-I. Lawyers. Lawyers. Dot com. Dot com. So what I want to do is square my bill and make how much it costs to do the case on Cook Street. Oh, yeah. So 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 we're going ahead now with all the backing of the big chiefs up at Waitangi. Yeah, uh, okay, so just and the email to him. Yeah, anyway. I'll email or write it out to him. What was your name again? My name is FJ. FJ. Yes. Uh, who am I speak to? John Wanoa. Yep. I'm the Maori boy that came in, we came in on Friday, me and the big chiefs, the old guys, and we dropped the book to him. Um, oh, well, actually, so we do not have any book. Yeah, no, there was one of the other men was there. Um, um, he, I think he hold it, or he might put it in his office. Oh, all right, yeah, no problem. I, I so forgot what his know. name, I forgot his name, but uh, anyway, the book is there. All and, right, yep. Yeah, and we'll so go for it. Yeah. Okay. okay then. Thank you. So much. Bye. Thank you. Bye. <coughs> <coughs> yeah. That's Troy's office. We're in business. <coughs> I just had a. I just had a call to Willie. Uh, it was a very good call, but I didn't quite get the camera right. Uh, but never mind. What What happened in that conversation was Willie. Um, um, uh, said I have a 99 um, presentation, um, what shall I say, uh, vote from him 
of uh, how the court went. Uh, so he's really saying that he's quite happy with the way everything went. And I'm saying to him, well, it belongs to him, what I'm doing. And then he, he had only one reservation about all the big figures, the trillions. I said, well, that's a reality. It is. And um, um, I said, we're just breaking it down uh, from where it is, from a projected view of all the wealth that's been taken with this flag and the Queen, and breaking it right down into single figures uh, for Cook Street. So now... This, the, these people know all about Cook Street, and um, so he was only Troy was only concerned about being paid. Um, but uh, I know he's done a bit of work for me, and so he's we can we can sort that out with the, the chiefs. And Willie's uh, said that um, um, everything is is fine. Uh, and they're happy with uh, with the way it went, was conducted. That's what I was where I was trying to find how the court hearing was conducted. Uh, but I missed it because it was a good um, conversation. I had the camera on camera, not on video. Silly me, I just emptied it out and forgot to change it back. Uh, but never mind. Um, uh, it's just that it was a, a good piece. I really thought it was going. Uh, but Willie. Um, um, to you up there at um, Bugaroo, um, we did all right. We did pretty well, and I've been talking on Skype to my managers in uh, Scotland, and so they are ready to go. Um, uh, so <coughs> uh, from that meeting on Friday, I'll just summarise what happened. Um, it was this book here that uh, we put together <coughs> <coughs> here. <coughs> And in the court, and did a native, uh, native Marae grand jury magistrate court hearing, or in short, a native magistrate court hearing. And in it, we had 23 um, um, suspects or criminals that we named publicly, and uh, we signed here, Auckland Native Grand Jury Magistrate Court, New Zealand. Here. We signed this, and there's the four Paramount Chiefs, myself, um, Bundy Waitai, um, Manahi Parapara Mohini, and um, Hiruini Karaka. <coughs> we got the JP stamp, we got the St. Patrick stamp, we got the King William stamp, we got the Maui stamp, and we got the two Chiefs in 1820 with uh, Bishop Thomas Candle um, signed the contract in the Edinburgh Magistrate Court sealed there um, to solidify a sale and purchase agreement between Britain and New Zealand took place that um, was over the whole title of New Zealand. Okay, there. Can you see that? That's the map with everything with Mohi Manukau and Manukau and I put together. I'm just saying to Willie that <coughs> the Ordor Bank in Helensville started up uh, in the Awaro Courthouse Magistrate, Native Magistrate Court, with the Manukau title, that they confiscated all the titles uh, from the uh, New South Wales Government and uh, New Zealand Government and reissued them in the Awaro Magistrate Court in Helensville for Auckland. The new Auckland was started from Awaro Bank. The Ngātikātua came from there into uh, Auckland Central. Now, I've got all the history for that, but I won't be going through it today. And the names, the list of the names of the uh, defendants, uh, supposed to turn up in court, but didn't. But that's not our problem. That's the problem of the British Navy and military and Parliament, Westminster. Now, we've got all the uh, defendants here. After that signature I just showed you, in the court hearing that was put together. Now, we'd, I'll just say the first one is defendant Prime Minister John Key, ex-Prime Minister, theft of the St. Patrick's eight-point star uh, on the 1834 flag behind me of, against the pirates and folks like him and the rest of New Zealand Crown Corporation's fraud corrupted courts. Trading banks war head of our Queen Victoria Trust, Queen Elizabeth II, no longer the seal of the courts of 
of illegitimate New Zealand laws. Right? Second defendant, James Pierce Brown, Simon Brent Roundtree, 77 Cook Street, last chance to rebut these legal allegations against you both, lost the case with the CIB New Zealand Police, tempering in this case you cannot win. You libeled all the entire police force and courts, judges, convincing lawyers, barristers, solicitors and parliament ministers, ministers and crown, crown New Zealand. Now, um, this should um, the police CIB detective, Natalie Flower Dew Brown, stripped my shirt off in here and took it away as evidence against me. Now, that shirt is still in the police station as Exhibit A against me, the evidence that she is now singled out as one trillion pounds on her head. Each person has a trillion pounds on their head when they get apprehended in this book online, court, trial by media, court. That goes to Magistrate Court in London, goes to High Court of Admiralty in London, and there it rests with the case ruling that is a default contract back to us. Okay? So that's the book that we put through. I dropped this with the, no, the, the Chief Justice Paramount Chief Justice Hiruini Kraka dropped this and Bundy Waitai, uh, Enforcement Officer, uh, Paramount Chief, and Manahi Parapara Mohini, Paramount Chief, JP, Justice of the Peace, working in the court. He dropped it, they all dropped it with me, the Sheriff, and the Registrar, and Bank, the, the Magistrate Court Bank, um, to recover all the debt. Okay? We dropped this book into the police station, superintendent, and accepted it. And we dropped it into the Auckland District Court, uh, superintendent or um, uh, registrar of the court, of the family division, because this is family as well, as the birth certificates, the family, <coughs> births, <deaths>, marriages, <coughs> certificates of land, titles in there, in that birth, deaths, and marriages, is that. So we gave it to the right person, but it still covers all the civil and all the other courts' jurisdictions as well. It's the whole lot in here, with all these acts in the front, all the acts of King William IV. 1984 pages of acts is what we're pulling our citations from uh, for all these cases that have violated our law and their own law, uh, the land laws of New Zealand. And um, so, uh, things such as the Execution of Judgments Act, we, we just pull these out and stick them straight on their face and their name, on the, on the, on the, uh, on the uh, um, writ of execution. Writ of execution. Okay, well, so all the acts are in the front, where you can see them. That's how I started off. Well, it went together in alphabetical order of, um, of the laws, our laws. So we can interpret them the way we want and go from there. So Willie's got a better idea now of what this book was all about. And then we took it to you type Choi lawyers who I just got off the phone to now to the Secretary, FJ. <coughs> so um, now we're, we're, we're going to sort their bill bring it up to date, pick it up from there, and he's got a job to do. Seize Cook Street, seize the land, and go after John Key, and arrest them. That they're going to do it. Well, if they don't do it, we do it. But um, we're just telling them. The law has failed us, failed me, by the police losing the case, the Crown lost the case against me, and the judge ruled inadmissible evidence or insufficient evidence. The police had insufficient evidence against me. And I'm not worrying about the other boys, the UN, UN Maori Federal Marshals. They got the wrong jurisdiction for a start. They got us all in trouble. And I don't expect to pay them anything. It's just a learning experience for them. That do your homework if you think you can seize a property. Do your homework. Don't go and use Hawaii's king for our titles because this is higher than the king 
of Hawaii. In fact, it's the one that started them off on their lands from our land title. If you don't know land titles, you are not in the game. If you don't know banks, you're not in the game. If you don't know Crown, corporations, coat of arms, and Westminster, you're not in the game. You have to pass all those tests first. And if you're not native with the right surname, you're not in the game. If you've got titles to memorials to back you up, you're not in the game of commercial contracts and commercial land ownership, ship of animals. So if you haven't got all those, you just don't qualify to get into this court. So the magistrate court hearing has now legalized this book, everything in it, as being the missing link, the spiritual, the physical, and the law itself. <coughs> in this book, everything's here. The bills, the debts, the pound notes, the law. Okay? The kings, the eight point star, the boundaries, the whakapapa, the origination of title, and everything that amounts to trivia. That's what the issue that Willie Pater had. How come it's all in trillions? It doesn't look good. No, Willie, I told you, hey, it's their figures. It's their power notes, but it's our power notes as well. We're going to account for 970 million trillion trillion missing power notes of value missing from our trust. The King's Bench Court and the Moai Crown King William IV Trust versus Queen Victoria Trust. Well, the gold's gone on this side, the Queen's side and the King's side. That's what we're balance the books. We're seizing everything back from the Queen because of the corruption and fraud with this flag, the martial law, the court martial law, and these laws. We don't need codes. The Pope got rid of all the codes in the UCC. He got rid of the Admiralty, his Admiralty, Vice Admiral, and he got rid of the canon law, civil law, and courier law. But he can't get rid of this Admiralty. He can't get rid of this flag because it's not his to use. And we're going to find out who's using it and build them to. Everyone who's touched it is going to get a bill. Trillion pounds each. That's how thorough, lethal and exact the King's laws are. I've got his shirt on, his coat of arms. I've got my own coat of arms, Rogan, Cosgrove, Northern Ireland, Belfast, where this eight-point star comes from. That's my title. That's my title. Right? It's, it's here. Now, I'm fully clothed to seize lands with this eight point star. Municipalities, chief, sheriff, creditor, registrar of birth, death, and marriages, certificates. While they're still in action, <coughs> if the New World Order got rid of theirs, we are the New World Order to get rid of everything else. <coughs> because king rules, our king rules, they can't take this away from us. They can get rid of all the other things they made money out of the king's jurisdiction. This is the registrar of deaths, births and marriages for collecting rent, rates, fines and administrative costs to run the king's Bench Court, Royal Revenue Collection Agency. Okay, it's a collection agency on this eight point star flag, four corners of the earth, in the sea of blue, and the sea and the sky of blue. We're sailing along from state to state with this authority and this authority, and now we have the authority as contractor to the king, two-party contract. The Queen on this side is a th third party. Everybody on this side is a third party. This is the first party and the second party. Eight points are. Belfast, my family comes from Belfast. And the Queen is furious. I just read 
the Queen is furious at Theresa May going with the DUP party, that's my party, with um, uh, Foster. Um, I've forgotten what her name, but Foster. She's the first Prime Minister of, of uh, Northern Ireland. Protestant, that uh, Protestant, right? Queen furious at being mizzled by Theresa May of a DUP bill, a deal. DUP, DUP deal. What date was that? <coughs> <coughs> I hate it when they don't put dates on. They never put dates on. I can't see an object. Independent. Independent news. I'm going to have to keep with the independent news a day ago. Comments. No date. I'm trying to find a date to it. Buckingham Palace, Theresa May, the Queen, General Election 2017. <coughs> well, that's only within a month ago. <coughs> that's within a month ago. So that's the latest. I keep up with the latest news. So today, people, <coughs> Willie rang me a minute ago. <coughs> I just explained to him. Uh, he's given me a 99% performance rating for the court hearing itself. He's one of the elders and um, uh, running uh, their... Um, Toma to Komatua in the Kai Price, in the Kaikoi district, and um, relays information to the Catholic Church, which is the Tuunga Waka Marae, uh, their Marae in Epsom. So it's just as well I'm with them in that Marae I can have any time I want. <coughs> and it, uh, and it um, uh, is there um, for me to, when they have a hui. Uh, They'll call the hui and call me in. So I'm available to pick up on Cook Street title with them. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> I've still got this bad cough for days and days and days and months. So now, uh, today, I'll just, um, I've uploaded most of the videos. I didn't get the one in the lawyer's office, so I only got a clip of the the chiefs in there, but I didn't get the other one with, with them handing over, it doesn't matter. Um, uh, the secretary is going to relay off, I'm going to do an official letter uh, to Utah Toy uh, with an offer to take on the Moai Tidal Turbine project that he wanted uh, to look after that in South Korea. Um, I've got enough to do uh, running the bank. So I'll let him um, uh, administer the project uh, development and the contracts uh, right through the Pacific. There's 60 of the my tidal turbine bridges going straight up in each of the countries uh, like uh, Samoa, uh, Fiji, uh, East Island, uh, <coughs> Hawaii, Tahiti, Rarity Island, <coughs> um, Tonga, um, Tonga and um, what's the other? other countries there in the, in the Pacific, 16 of them anyway. Um, six, 16, is that, did I say 16? I said 20 of them, I think. Oh, of those turbines, okay? Right through, right through the Pacific. So that'll power them up with the hydrogen for all the shipping and the military. We'll take over the military in Britain and fund that with this power note. <coughs> and um, our role as a dual government um, will be building the uh, British State Empire building in Cornwall Park, uh, Green Lane, uh, on the Manukau land. <coughs> now, from now on, the, t the title to this country is Moriori Cook Island, Taiji. Okay? That's it. Don't argue, because you've got a trillion pounds on your head if you do that. It's very dangerous. Uh, so, <coughs> Willie, I'm happy.
uh, to report back from our management. I've just been in touch with Jackie and Andy Little Gordon and her family in Scotland. Um, they'll be working on all the um, administration with the Scottish government uh, and um, 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 with uh, Edinburgh Magistrate Court and the Freemasons. Uh, I must put them in too because they're part of the Moriori. So I'm going to keep my word with Mohi that he's not supposed to tell anybody, but I've told the whole world now. But I'm saying that all the documents that the uh, Freemasons put together is worth something. So we're going to cut a deal from the recovered funds, the funds that are out there that belong to us. And we're recovering it as normal business practice to recover debts for our courts. And we're saving the costs of uh, going through court to our court hearings in London if we need to go there. But we're going to do it here as being kept here uh, as the jurisdictions here uh, apply. But we have the British jurisdiction to go over the top of these jurisdictions here from our native grand jury trial magistrate court with the Moriori title covered with the Freemasons, Manukau title. There you go. How's that? I'm getting better and better, but throat is not good. Uh, so today is uh, Tuesday, uh, Monday, the 2nd of um, October 2017, and I'm glad to announce that we now have a legal flag flying uh, that will go right through the world. And I must say we'll, we'll get the uh, shares going in the 250 countries on the website. I'll give Cecile Hoods a hand uh, this week. I'll get this tidied up and get ready. She'll be administering Cook Street. She'll take over the whole business as a administrative, qualified um, um, manager of business and economic development plans and big projects um, as a um, um, PhD in economics and a PhD in business. Um, so she's just getting used to my website. I'll give her a hand because she's finally pressing the wrong buttons. Uh, but it's slim line and digital in the best possible way on the mobile phone. Everything's run on the mobile phone. We don't need offices, but we don't have a big family homes where diplomatic people can come there and fly in and um, conduct all our business in a home setting uh, with homegrown uh, communities and uh, homegrown food clean homegrown food in our membership. So before long people, to be on this side, to be a beneficiary on this side, this Moai Crown King William IV Trust, you need to pay £25 one-off shop to register your name with a mobile phone. That's all you need, a mo the mobile phone number instead of a birth certificate number. And that's your credit from then on. And how it works is we have two phones in our office, one for deposits, one for withdrawals. Ring up the number to deposit, ring up the number to withdraw. You shouldn't need to deposit anymore by the time we get this business going. But you're gradually said too much to talk in one day. That's all. I think I've said enough. I'll go and do some work and I'll write a letter to the lawyer. He's not there today. And so I'll wait for him. I'll write him an official letter. It'll go like this. Dear Mr. Choi, it gives me great pleasure to be back with you again to work on this case on Cook Street, 77 Cook Street, where you have gracefully signed Mr. John Key to be arrested for his criminal activity and to make him pay for it and have him arrested and locked up for crimes 
he has committed just recently. I want you to take care of that with a trillion pound on his head and I also want you to recover all his assets that he has taken out of New Zealand, sold his house, $20 million in Parnell, that's one, and other investments he has around the world. That's what I want you to do for him. <coughs> and the other two landowners on Cook Street, James Pierce Brown and Simon Brent Browntree. They have covered up with their other fraud police, courts, judges, politicians, then convincing lawyers, and cover up a fraud land title transfer. I want you to recover the land for me, where it was, where I'm supposed to be in that office, and the police tampered with my contract with those two landowners to show me their title. They haven't produced the title to go against all the titles I have on that block, the Moriori Mario title. That becomes a defaulted contract many times over because I've already issued them in live person on video as evidence, cited, cited fact evidence, that they were served notice from me to give up the property and go and get their money back from the Crown Corporation, their boss. They failed to do that. So now they've committed further people into fraud. For every person that came in and tempered with me while and my shirt, and while I'm a surrogate, surrogate King William IV, which I'm entitled to, I've been now crowned in that native magistrate court hearing in Epsom with these paramount chiefs, the original surname landowners, commercial landowners in this sense, have put the court away on me, which means crowning of someone in high esteem, such as paramount, is equal to the king. In our jurisdictions of authority and sovereignty, we haven't ceded our sovereignty. That was a cry call that has been going on forever, until now the title holders are now in place as the British, our partner, the British Navy, Royal Navy, and First Lord of the Sea, Sir Philip Jones, is our legal partner. He's the one that we're cutting the deal with. The government, on the other hand, is administering <coughs> our business as a two-party contract, <coughs> the military and us. So we're going ahead to recover all the debts missing that's in this book. This is a portable magistrate court. You don't need anything else. The facts and cited evidence is in here. Just the videos to go with that. Anywhere in the world. Okay, people? So that's all I'm going to say. We'll catch you later because time's marching on. And today is just a letter to the lawyer, you Tai Choi. To you, you Tai Choi, we shall pay your bill and the chiefs will take care of that and me. And we will pay you to recover that property. There's no need to go through the court. There is no need to go through the old court because we have a court of high jurisdiction to do it, direct to Britain. We don't have to go to Britain. We can settle it out here. If they want their money back, they have to go to the Crown to get their money back. But we're billing them for that amount. And there was one trillion a day for each day that went past. The 43 people that got in my way and used in that court hearing all those 43 people against me, that's 43 million of 43 trillion a day. The figures, the Crown Corporations will take care of that on their side. Anex, Anex, A-Y-A-N-X, 
invoice company will get all the bills. They've got, it's in this book. Annex is in this book. But the receipts, I'm just going to get our secretary, our, <coughs> our manager, to tally it up. To tally it up. We can, you can't tell us what to do. We are the king to make all the rules. There's the invoice of Annex. Right? Annex is a registered company in England, London. And they're just waiting for me to kick it in. And I'm just about ready to kick it in once I get it on Cook Street. So all I want at this stage, Mr. Yu Tai Choi, is to seize Cook Street with this document. With this document. We've notified the court of our intentions, the Auckland District Court. <coughs> There's no need to go to the High Court because we are the High Court. Jurisdictions, high, high Court, straight to London. If there's any trouble, we'll just go straight to London, but we don't need to because this is New Zealand and we are the commercial landowners. And there's another annex bill right there. Okay, I've, got, I've given the summary of events <coughs> and it's nobody else's business. This is no one else's business. And this one here, I'm just trying to think what it is. This one's for one billion trillion against the New Zealand Prime Minister John Key. So we're going to chip it off a bit at a time. We've got a trillion pound on his head, riding on his head. With that trillion pound note, it goes in the ANZ Bank against him. Right? Against him. And from that trillion pounds, the bank will have an interest rate from us to buy that money straight out over the debtors on their side. Right? On the strength of this book as being the highest authority in the world, the King's Bench Court flag of Admiralty Court Martial Law, Financial Martial Law. Okay, so we're going to use the trillion pound note as a legal instrument that's already deposited in the ANZ Bank. I'll pull out the videos of me and the manager there. Uh, Julie Sewell and her receiving those notes, okay, those pound notes and the book. I'll pull out the books, I'll, I'll, I'll put it there and everything that I've done right through the years from 2012. So now we legalise this trillion pound note in the ANZ Bank for the ANZ Bank to buy that note against those debtors, including the Queen and the Rothschild Banks. They're the ones that get it. And the IMF, the UN, the EU Parliament, the, the whole lot of them is lumped in because they've used our flag to get all the money from the Waitangi National Trust, the Queen's business, and these Crown Corporation pirates in Wellington and New South Wales. Okay, so the game's up. And the Queen is furious. The Prime Minister told Monarch, the Monarch, she had secured support for of the Democratic Unionist Party, DUP, only for it to take another 17 days before the deal was finalised. She's furious because it's gone straight past her into us. We are the DUP party, I'm making this statement. We are Protestant, my family. The Wānoa, Rogan, Cosgrove, from Belfast, and the Eight Point Star municipalities right there. The memorial where St. Patrick is buried is the title. You want to talk about titles? Talk to me. Because I'm putting all those titles back in its place in Edinburgh Magistrate Court and the birth, deaths and marriages. Certificates away from Westminster. Mischief people in there. The Scottish and the Freemasons will take hundreds for that side of the bargain. Okay, or the law. They are the keepers of those instruments that Mohi Monaco and John Rogan were party to, and I'm party to, private. I tell you because you're not supposed to know any of this. 
Now, you know, you all get a silver bullet, but for 25 pounds, the bullet will miss you, and you grab all the wealth off them pirates from New South Wales, Australia, convicts that came to New Zealand and started the racket off. This flag stops all the bank wars because it is a bank war flag. It is a declaration of war flag to seize all the government and its lands and its people and launch them into the British Empire building. Okay? So between Ireland, Northern Ireland and Scotland we have the title certificates and Northern Ireland we have the eight point star of St. Patrick. Now those are two powerful instruments of money, gold and all the rest of the wealth. And we have the Moai Memorial, the Moai Memorial as the spirit of God's earth. No money, just its title, standing in London. <coughs> That's our chief memorial to this whole planet with his ahu on his whenua. It's a base at the bottom of the Moai and then the ahu sits on his whenua. He's standing there. That's his land. He might as well say it's our land. The New World Order land. Okay? So that's why that Moai is standing there. The Queen put it there, not the King. The Dutchman, King William III and King William IV, did not touch those Moai statues. were all standing up in a row on East Island, Rabanui, and not one out of place. As soon as the Queen and her pirate folks from Australia, Queen Victoria from Australia, as soon as the pirates got there on the topaz under the Queen Victoria, 1868, stole the first one, then took it to London and hid it away for a hundred years, then brought it there, then commercialised it. Moai Crown is commercialised and we are its original native owners. So rather than pick them up and take them home, we're going to leave them there. Because God didn't say to put them there. The man and the woman put them there. As if they're God. And the Pope has gone to hell now. Because it's all pedophilia, all the Satan stuff is starting to ooze out. And this flag's going to finish them off. That's all I can say. And take all that wealth off them. And Rome burns again. Israel burns again. Because it's just as bad. Trump, you got a power note on your head now. I'm just telling you straight out. Keep your hands off that gold in the Philippines. Keep your hands off that gold in the Caribbean. 300 million metric tons in the Caribbean. Leave it alone on Curaçao Island. That's ours. It belongs to Dutch and the native Paramount Chiefs contract. Right? It's been stolen. Yes, it's been stolen. But we're going to put the power notes up against it. We're not worried about where it is. We're just write the power notes up against it. So you don't need to hide it anymore because the military go and get it. They'll get paid too. We're putting up ten billion straight into the British Navy military to go and recover all the debt. Is what I'm saying on this video. The same with the lawyer. They get paid for contracting all the fraud business, starting with Cook Street and John Key. All the thug pirates in the banks, days are numbered. We have our own water money currency, gold money currency, pound note money currency, and any other money currency that we care to desire to use. But the water, the gold, and the power note. There. We're going straight into that scenario right now. All the court's finished. As far as I'm concerned, the court's is finished. And it's just the Paramount Chiefs and the court's take over. It's their job. I'm going straight into the banks and straight into the land transactions and the law. And governments, the commercial, the Moai, 
federal state Commonwealth government of the world and the British State Empire Building in Cornwall Park in Auckland. That's about a $5 billion project, pound project, right? Cook Street is about $3 billion project. <coughs> okay? Waitangi is about $2 billion project. And so forth. That's how it works. I had a good discussion with Andy and Jackie this morning, my managers in Scotland. And so they're planning up ready for when I get there. I'll have a little passenger with me from the Philippines. Come for a little ride. And sort it out. Uh, her name is Menes Flores uh, from Thailand, um, from the Philippines. Get my teeth done there. Three days, that's all over. Get my hair pushed up, my face pushed up, everything else pushed up. And I might look a little better before I go to England. I'm going to the Philippines first. Just to get a little facelift. So it matches the shirt at the moment. <coughs> so that's all. Thank you very much. We'll see you later. Have a nice day.